Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today is going to be a predictions video on the WWE Extreme Rules pay-per-view. Um, I forgot how many matches there are. I think there's like seven, but it's, it's a really good card, I'm going to admit. The matches are really good. Let's hope it leads up to the hype, you know. So the first match, we got Apollo Crews versus MVP for the United States Championship. No stipulation, I believe. But this storyline, you know, it's been, it's been pretty good. You know, MVP introduced this new United States Champion. Apollo Crews has the older version of it. So I guess winner takes the newer championship. And in that case, I'm going to go with MVP. I think MVP is going to win this match just because, you know, he introduced the new United States champion. And it makes more sense for, you know, him to win it because he's the one that created the new championship. And obviously, Paul Heyman is not on Raw anymore. It's Bruce Pritchard. So I don't, and, you know, uh, he was pushing Apollo Crews, but since he's not on the show anymore, I think MVP got this one in the bag. So I'm going to pick MVP to win this match. The next match is Jeff Hardy versus Sheamus in a bar fight. This storyline, as I mentioned in my SmackDown rant, has been horrible. You know, leading up to the Backlash match, it wasn't the best storyline, but it was a good match. It delivered. Obviously, I know this is going to deliver, but I'm just not into this storyline anymore. You know, obviously, it makes the most sense, and I'm going to go with... Jeff Hardy to win the match. It's a bar fight. I think it's going to be a c cinematic type match. Like what we had at WrestleMania. Not between these two. But like you know. The one between. Um, Sheamus is so pale. You know. The match between. Um, Undertaker and AJ Styles. It's going to be a cinematic match I believe. But I got Jeff Hardy winning this match. The next match. Rey Mysterio. Versus Seth Rollins. An eye for eye match. What? This is... Yeah, an eye for an eye match. Obviously, Rey Mysterio doesn't have an eye. But he does in real life. But like, you know, storyline, he doesn't. So, I'm confused. If Rey Mysterio loses this match, he has zero eyes. But if Seth Rollins loses... He's also going to have one eye. And then he's going to wrestle like that for the rest of his career. I don't really get that. But I know AEW did an eye for an eye match. And those both, you know, the both superstars in that match came out with two eyes. Like they're fighting with two eyes now. So I just gave the win to Seth Rollins. Because there are like rumors saying Rey Mysterio didn't renew his contract with the WWE, so that's, that, you know, I think that's their way of writing Rey Mysterio off, so I got Seth Rollins in this match, but this is a unpredictable match in my opinion, I have no idea who's going to win, I just picked Seth Rollins, the next match, oh, oh, there's my prediction, Bailey, Nikki Cross versus Bailey, not really a storyline in my opinion, I just got Bailey winning this match, they're not going to put the title on Nikki Cross, obviously. They're building towards Bailey versus Sasha Banks at SummerSlam. So I got Bailey beating Nikki Cross. The New Day versus Cesaro and Nakamura. In a tables match for the SmackDown Tag Team Championship. Uh, I'm not the biggest fan of this story line. You know, we saw them fight two weeks ago. Didn't end in a match. And then we saw Kofi versus Cesaro. If my memory ser serves me right today. Obviously, winner picks the stipulations, tables, or steel cage match. And Cesaro won, and he chose tables match. But I just got New Day winning this match. I don't see Cesaro and Nakamura winning this match at all. You know, New Day is what, like... Nine-time champions. I don't think they're going to lose and then regain it in a month. But 
WWE tag team uh WWE um tag teams are so the storylines are so bad. They treat them so bad. The revival's right. The WWE don't know how to work the tag teams. It's so true. All Cesaro did, like Cesaro and Nakamura, all they did was beat New Day to deserve the number one championship. And that's literally what the next team's gonna do. They're gonna beat the New Day on SmackDown. And they're gonna earn themselves a tag team title match at SummerSlam. It's too predictable in my opinion, but whatever. Next match. Oh. What the hell's going on? Next match we got Asuka versus Sasha Banks. Yeah. I'm making sure. For the Raw Women's Championship. You know, pretty good um storyline. Not really between them, but it, it pretty much developed between Bailey. Sasha Banks said, I'm jealous that you have two titles. We all thought she was talking about, you know, oh, I beat everyone, but I haven't challenged one person yet. We all I thought it was gonna be Bailey, but it was Asuka. Never knew she was a raw superstar, but I guess she's a raw superstar now. But I got Asuka. I don't think Sasha Banks is gonna win the Raw Women's Champion, especially Asuka just won it. Well, she didn't really win it. She literally got handpicked the title. But obviously, I think Sasha Banks is going to lose. And then after this pay-per-view, she's going to start turning heel or face, I guess, on Bailey, And then they're going to have the match for SummerSlam. Watch. I, I already know what's going to happen. So she's going to lose. And then on SmackDown, she's going to like start, you know, making Bailey lose. Then they're going to lose their SmackDown Tag Team Champion or... They're women's tag team champions. They're going to lose that. And then SummerSlam, I think Sasha Banks is finally going to win the SmackDown Championship, which I'm all for. It's been a long time coming. So I got Asuka winning this match. And then she'll probably face Charlotte Flair. She's going to come back, and Charlotte Flair's going to win. I hate Charlotte Flair. I don't like her one bit. The second last match on the card, Drew McIntyre versus Dolph Ziggler. The stipulation is N.A., Dolph Ziggler said he'll announce it at the pay-per-view. Obviously, I'm releasing this video before the pay-per-view. I think it's going to be one or or the other stipulation. It's either going to be be a TLC match, a table, ladder, and chair match, or Drew McIntyre can't use his Claymore. It's going to be one of the two. But, you know, obviously, I have Drew McIntyre winning this. Dolph Ziggler is obviously not going to beat Drew McIntyre for the championship, and... I think Drew McIntyre is going to face Randy Orton at SummerSlam, and I'm all for that. So, yeah, there's no stipulation yet. We'll see tomorrow what it is. And the last match. Braun Strowman versus Bray Wyatt in a Wyatt Swamp fight. Not for the Universal Champion. Um, I got Bray Wyatt winning this match. And then at SummerSlam, we're going to see The Fiend versus Braun Strowman for the Universal title, and Bray Wyatt is going to dethrone. Like, I already, guys, <laughs> I literally just almost made my own SummerSlam card match. It's so obvious what they're doing. That's the one thing with WWE. They're so predictable who's going to win. There's only two unpredictable matches in this card, and that's Rey Mysterio and Seth Rollins. I forget who the other one is. Or I think that was the only match. I have to go back. I'll go back after this, but... I just see Bray Wyatt beating Braun Strowman. It's his own match, first of all. The Wyatt Swamp fight is his own match. And then at SummerSlam, we're going to see The Fiend. We've got... Their first match was at Backlash. We got, you know, the friendly Bray Wyatt. And then at Extreme Rules, we got the OG Bray Wyatt. And then we're going to get the final third character, which is The Fiend at SummerSlam. That's what I think that's going to happen. So I got Bray Wyatt winning this match. And then this will continue into SummerSlam. But let's... So this match is predictable. This match is predictable. This match, actually. Yeah. I feel like Cesaro's going to win, though. I, I don't know. I got New Day. But this is kind of an unpredictable match, in my opinion. I don't know who's going to win this match. But yeah, other than New Day, Cesaro, and these two, these are probably the most two unpredictable matches like especially this match i have no idea who's gonna actually make it three this match 
I got MVP. I don't even think it's unpredictable. I think MVP is going to win. It makes the most sense. I already told you guys. He introduced this new United States champion. I think he's going to win it. And then Bobby Lashley is going to turn on MVP. And then he's going to win at SummerSlam. I don't know. But there's what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there's eight matches on the card. This is a really good card, I'm going to be honest. The matches are predictable, but, you know, this is going to be a cinematic match. It's going to be really good. This is going to be a good match. This is going to be a really good match. This is going to be a really good match. Tables match, it's going to be a good match. Like, let's be honest. You know, the storyline isn't there, but the match is going to be good. All the matches are going to be good, eh? Not really this one. This match is going to be really good, unpredictable. This match is going to be another cinematic match. WWE delivered on their cinematic matches. This is going to be a really good match too. This is going to be a good match too. So yeah, that's my predictions for the Extreme Rules. Must I say? The only thing, the only question I have is why is Big Show and Randy Orton not on Extreme Rules? They're fighting on Raw. I feel like that's pay-per-view worthy. You already have the match type unset unsection unsection um i can't pronounce it right now unsection match why have why on raw though even with aj styles and matt riddle i mean yeah 10 matches is a bit too much so i see why they did it on raw but i feel like randy orton and big show is a pay-per-view worthy match i guess they want to do it for the ratings i see why the ratings are terrible on raw and smackdown but yeah those are my predictions this is my longest video, 12 minutes. Guys, subscribe. We're getting a lot of views. No one's subscribing. So subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.